Okay, so in this last video, um, we are following on from um, uh, uh, adjusting uh, our extended trial balance for um, a series of adjustments. We have already done uh, depreciation, we have adjusted for closing stock, and we have adjusted for prepaid and accrued expenses. And the last step is to adjust for provision for doubtful debts, and we are going to also end up with recording the net profit. Um, so we're working from the same example as, as previously. Um, in this case, we need to uh, increase our balance of provision for doubtful debt by 150 pounds. And uh, if we just remind ourselves how we do that, so with the provision for doubtful debt, if we want to increase it, we effectively record it as a credit um, to increase the provision. And we also debit the profit and loss account um, with our debit, i.e. we put it in as, a, as an expense effectively. So increase the provision, um, which effectively makes our debtors smaller. Um, that's the net effect of that. And that becomes also an expense to the business. Um, so we are increasing the provision by £150. Um, and uh, we have got our provision for that for debt already here. That's three hundred pounds. Um, so the provision, the increase, we needed to um, put it in as a, a credit of one hundred and fifty pounds. That is um, effectively that um, we are increasing the provision, and as well as that, we write it off as an expense. So that is basically a debit. So we can see we've done a debit and a credit of £150. The result is that the adjustment column now balances. In terms of the provision for that for debt, it's a debit, and we can just transfer it straight into the profit and loss account as a debit as well. The provision for that for debt, it was 300 credit, and we added another 150 credit. So 300 it was 300, add another 150 debit. That makes the new balance 450 debit. So um, the result of 300 plus 150 now becomes 450 and I already added it up here. So that is in essence how you um, record the um, provision for doubt for debt. We have now, uh, as we previously recorded all of the other adjustments, provision, um, the provision for depreciation, uh, closing stock and uh, prepaid and accrued expenses uh, we have now done everything we needed to do all that's left is to uh, record the net profit and we can see here that we have um, um, have got a total income or what what is uh, uh, items that impacts positively on um, profit in the profit and loss account of this value here in total and in terms of expenses or items that impact negatively on the profits, uh, we got this much value here. We can then um, calculate profit by putting in um, whatever value makes, um, makes um, these two columns balance out. And the difference between these two columns is 65,806. Um, so because I put that value in now, both of these columns balances. I've done a debit. Uh, I then, uh, because I did a debit, I need to do a credit. It's a double entry. It's a new transaction I'm recording. Um, it's the same amount has to be because it's a double entry. And what we can see is that by me putting in 65,886 uh, here, the balance sheet now balances as well, and that suggests that everything I've done is correct. And this video has then demonstrated how to record a provision for that for debt adjustment and finally how to record uh, a net profit or a loss.